My name is Eduardo Valero, and I am the Artistic Director of Ballet Hispanico of New York. I was an immigrant. I came here with my family in 1969 from Cuba. I grew up in the South Bronx, um, and it was in eighth grade that I fell in love with dance. I did a performance of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, and I was supposed to uh, dance with a, a blanket in, in the musical, and uh, I was told I had to create it myself and do it, and I did, and I was hooked from then. Um, I was trained at the Ailey School and at the Martha Graham School. Um, I went to Adelphi University and did a Bachelor's of Fine Arts, worked with some wonderful people from Ballet Russe and also from um, the modern side. Um, Norman Walker uh, was the, the chair there. I left and immediately joined Ballet Hispanico, Dance for almost 10 years here. I did a lot of amazing work, toured, learned, learned the craft. I left to pursue a master's program in Chicago and before I finished the, that program, I developed a dance company there called Luna Negra Dance Theater um, and spent 10 years developing that organization, which is still alive and vibrant and um, doing really well, um, still connected to it in a lot of ways. And um, I left it to join Ballet Hispanico. Ballet Hispanico has a strong mission for um, outreach for, for taking culture and dance to, to young, young students. The impact of outreach is something that I see on a constant basis. When we're on tour and the company um, uh, performs and also um, goes out into the community and does workshops, when we are in the city and we're seeing our outreach education program and the you know, six-year-olders have learned uh, a Mexican folk dance and then have created their own dance, because they were so inspired by that. Those moments, um, uh, luckily for me, are many. I go into a school and what I see is what everyone tries to put on these, these um, students and their, their voices aren't heard. So yeah, they might have these kind of preconceptions, but it's not theirs. It's actually their families, their principals, their students, media. You see what I'm saying? Um, and then when you start really working with them, you start really, you know, I love it. I love it when some kid might go, well, I really kind of like that because it really, and, you know, they start critiquing or developing an aesthetic and you're like, wow, that's amazing. You know, I think um, it's part of me in a way. Um, what I've realized is why I like doing it. And I like doing it because, um, I was a kid who didn't speak English, who came to this country, and I wanted to be part. I wanted to be part of the conversation. I wanted to have friends. I wanted to join. And I think that, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, almost a, a syndrome of, of, of immigration that you try to fit in. And so for me, it was about first sharing about my culture and who I am, and then it turned into the passion of this is what I do. You know, isn't this great? And also, I really think that um, all art and, and, and all dance can be a vehicle to open dialogue. And all it needs is just a, the, the, pla the platform, which is the stage. And if you get people in there and, and give them the right kind of structure in order for them to then have the dialogue, um, then I think, I, I think it, it, will, it, it will start, I don't, I don't know if it will cure all um, racial problems, I, I, I know that's not going to happen, but at least it, you start talking. We don't talk about those things. It's a mixture. It's, um, it's about revering the past, and so we'll do works that from, from the past repertory, you know, I'll kind of zhuzh it up a little bit, um, change costuming, try to bring a different kind of context to it. Um, whether it, it is costume or lighting, but that um, is relative to today. Um, but the new work is really looking at um, uh, culture in the Hispanic and Latino diaspora and w what, what it means uh, not only to be Latino or, or w what is it about our culture that, that, that um, is... Uh, separates us or connects us. 
works like, uh, like Mariah Gutierrez, um, Puntos Suspensivos, you know, she's still in the mix of, she's been only in this country for five, six years. There's still this tug about, you know, I grew up at home, home is over there, what does that mean? Um, why, why do I need to, to, to keep referring to it? How, how am I changed from it? What does, you know, there, there's an interesting moment, and, I, and it happens to everyone who, who leaves even a neighborhood. You know, you, you, have, you have built this um, almost cosmos there, and you leave, and you become something else. And when you come back, everybody's kind of like, oh, yeah, you're not that much Cuban anymore, and it hurts. But then it's true. So there's, there's always, there, there's so, so much paradox in, in culture um, that to uh, align it with a stereotype always is just disastrous. So if you think that Latinos go around, you know, waving their, their, their beautiful white skirts, you know, or, you know, eating a certain kind of food at a time, it, we, we're, we're fooled. And if that is what encompasses culture, then we'll, we'll, we're never going to get along, any of us. Because then we're not open to the exploration of, uh, of personal self. That's such a great question. Why is it important to fight for dance? Um, I, I think it's important to fight for all art forms but in my case, particularly dance, because dance does not make you a better dancer. It makes you a better human being. It, it, it removes, it removes the, the, the ice when you grab someone and say you want to, will you dance with me? Um, it is a language that really um, uh, brings people together. We have dance everywhere. I mean, we've been dancing since the circle around the fire. Um, it, it, it bonds us um, and it allows us to um, be free from the, the, the structures of vocal language. I mean, we have, all of us have gestural material in us, uh, some that are very similar, um, some that aren't. And so, you know, but for some reason it's tangible for the, 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 our, our kinesthetic selves to understand gesture much quicker than it is language, I feel. I mean, if you're on the train and someone is speaking another language, but they, you know, do something, it, your, your body reacts immediately. It's an amazing thing I, I see all the time, particularly in the subways uh, with all the tourists. But, but that's why. And then to, to, to further explain the, that it makes us a, human, a better human being, because it allows us just to um, not have the barriers of social construct. It's very freeing. And so any art form, we're, we're learning about points of view, we're learning about the way people see themselves, the, their world around us. You know, each artist opens a, uh, an incredible passage to, to seeing the world. And so if you collect them by going to the arts, by experiencing the arts, there's no way you cannot be a better human being.